David and Goliath by Michael Slayton and Taylor Ross. The story of David and Goliath starts with two great armies. The Philistines had gathered for a war against Israel. Each army was on the opposite sides of a steep valley. Each day for 40 days, Israelites were mocked and challenged to fight by a Philistine giant measuring over 9 feet tall. The name of the giant was Goliath. Saul, the king of Israel, and the whole army were terrified of Goliath. One day, David, the youngest son of Jesse, was sent to the battle lines by his father to bring back the news of his brothers. The walk took many days for David to complete. When David arrived on the battle lines, he heard Goliath shouting. He responded by saying, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine who should defy the armies of God? At this point, David had volunteered to fight Goliath. Before he could fight Goliath, however, he had to gain permission of King Saul, and he had to travel to his kingdom. After a few days, David reached Saul's kingdom, and he met the king himself. Sire, you have a visitor. Do you wish to be disturbed? Very well. Let him in. My king, I have come to fight the one you call Goliath. Do you realize how foolish your actions are? Goliath is a monster over nine feet tall. I myself am afraid of him. Who are your parents, young David? I am the son of Jesse, and I have come to fight Goliath. David, what exactly do you plan to use to slay Goliath? Let me remind you that he is nine feet tall and pure muscle. You yourself do not have a chance against him. Even the strongest men in my army do not have a chance against Goliath. He is the most feared one in this kingdom. What tool will you use to kill him? My king, I shall use a slingshot. With the power of God, I shall not lose against Goliath. I am surely to win. I see. So God is on your side. Have you received any visions? How do you know for sure that you will for sure beat Goliath? King Solomon, I am positive that I can slay this giant Goliath. For far too long have the Israelites been scared of this Philistine. I will slay him, no matter what, because God is on my side. Very well, brave and noble David. You have my permission to fight Goliath. But let me warn you, he will be a very strong and worthy adversary. David traveled back to the battlefront where Goliath was waiting and said, You come against me with the sword, the spear, and the javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. I am Goliath. I stand nine feet tall, and you're just a tiny little thing. You think you can really beat me? David wasted no time in preparing a rock in his slingshot. The rock hit Goliath on the forehead and killed him instantly. Once Goliath was on the ground, David took his sword and cut Goliath's head off. When the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they turned and ran, so the Israelites pursued, chasing and killing them and plundering their camp. The interesting part about David and Goliath is that David survived because he was chosen to be the next king of Israel. The whole moral from the story that the Bible wishes you to learn is if you place your faith in God, you can accomplish the most impossible tasks with his help. I am the almighty Goliath! Who shall fight me? Oh.